Today we are going to reveal the secrets of some extraordinary magic tricks performed by one of the most well-known magicians in Egypt, Azam al-Masri, who stunned the host and the audience of a popular TV show in Egypt. Let's begin. Trick number one, the magical calculator. In the beginning of the trick, the magician shuffled the cards, then asks the host to make a cut and keep only one card in his hand. Then he faced the audience asking for a mobile device. When a volunteer gave him her iPhone, he opened the calculator app and asked the host to provide him with seven sets of numbers, his birthday and birth month, his favorite number, his favorite football player number, a number of three digits, a particular year important to the host, and finally the number of the card he's holding. He entered all those numbers in the calculation app of the iPhone using a secret equation, and when he finally pressed the equal sign, a very long number appeared on the screen, which was 55 111 721 440. Unless you have a super IQ, the output of this equation is impossible to guess, but the magician Azam surprised us all and predicted the output number. He proved that when he flipped the cards on the table, which surprisingly gave the exact number of the equation. The surprise continued when the same number appeared in the folded paper that the magician keeps, claiming that he predicted the answer before the beginning of the trick. The last surprise was when the magician inverted the paper upside down, and the number on it formed the name of the host, which was Amri Lazy. The question is how he predicted the output number even before he asked the host about the input questions. Here is the secret. Actually, a similar trick has been previously performed in Steve Harvey's show with some little changes. The whole secret lies in the iPhone device that the magician took from the volunteer. The calculation app on the iPhone can be programmed to present a specific number using a secret code regardless any variables or inputs. In this trick, that number was already programmed before the trick begins. This code is the number we want to show followed by plus sign followed by zero followed by multiplication sign, followed by zero. The code runs in the background and makes the app look normal in its operating mood. It only shows the programmed number on the screen after clicking equal sign, regardless any inputs before. And in our case, that number is 55 111 721 440. To assure you that our analysis is correct, I have applied the whole process on the iPhone calculation app. First, I will enter the secret code 5511721440, followed by plus sign, followed by zero, followed by multiplication sign, followed by zero. Now, the screen goes back to its normal mood. Now we are going to enter the answers of the host about specific information, and they are birth month, which is 7, followed by multiplication sign, birthday, which is 30, followed by multiplication sign, a favorite number, which is also 7, followed by multiplication sign, a favorite football player number, which is again 7, followed by multiplication sign, a random number of three digits, which is 567, followed by multiplication sign, and then a particular year the host feels important, which is 1990, followed by multiplication sign, and finally the number of the card he's holding, which is 6, followed by equal sign. The output, as you can see on the screen, is the number the magician intended to use since the beginning. If the magician added more numbers or altered them, the output number would remain unchanged. All that questions to the host about specific reference numbers were just a distraction. The magician knew from the beginning the number he wanted to show, 
and all what followed such as arranging the cards to show the number in sequence or revealing the number from a sealed paper was merely a part of the show. If you have an iPhone, you can try applying this code yourself. Trick number two, turning orange to licorice to seven up drink. In this trick, the magician offers a Mirinda orange drink to the two participants, telling them that he can turn the orange into any other drink of their choice. They chose the licorice drink. He asked them to open the can to make sure it is sealed. Once they did, he started pouring the juice into an empty glass. For everyone's surprise, the orange turned into licorice. Then he tells them that he can turn the licorice drink into any other drink. They chose the 7 up drink. He started pouring the licorice into another empty glass. And amazingly, the licorice turned into a 7 up drink at once. So, how did he manage to pull off this complicated trick? In the first part of the trick when he turned orange to licorice, despite the can being sealed, the secret of that is simple, and with the small tools, we can change the drink without the need of opening the can. The tools required for such act are a needle and a syringe. In the beginning, we make a hole by the needle at the top of the can, too small to be noticed. Then we attach the syringe to the needle and slowly start extracting the juice through the tiny hole. After that, we insert the new drink inside the can in the same way. And to make the hole totally invisible, we put a glue or a transparent sticker. You can notice in the video that the magician was uncomfortable when he handed the can to the participant. Because he didn't want the camera to expose the place of the hole. He also gripped the can by putting his finger on the exact hole. In the second part of the trick when he turned licorice to 7 up drink, the secret lies in some science games. The magician used iodine substance, which resembles licorice drink in color. This substance, when mixed with other chemicals, has the power to shift its color to a transparent one once it touches any surface, rapidly and magically, as you can see in this scene. The magician prepared this mixture and put it in the Mirinda can in advance, using the needle as we explained before. The licorice was in fact iodine, and the 7-Up drink was in fact a transparent chemical solution. This explains why no one dares to test them. The whole act was agreed on between the magician and the participants for the sake of the show. In the end, Azzam al-Masri is a promising Egyptian magician who has the potential of amazement and soon we will reveal some other tricks of his.